things to down try to keep me down I'll put the flame out you can Hello and welcome to another episode of the Motown India show my name is Joshua Luther and today we have with us the petrol version of the Tata Tiago now this is going to be a performance review in case you missed the full review you can click on the link below Now this vehicle comes with a 1.2 liter petrol mill. It's a three pot petrol mill and it puts out about 84 bhp. So let's just get down to the basic performance of the Tata Tiago petrol version. Now the refinement in this Revatron engine uh, as compared to the Revatorque engine is quite exceptional. the diesel the vibrations etc are more it does feel a little more crude it does feel a little more uh raw and rugged and the power delivery is quite punchy whereas in this petrol motor it is very smooth very linear very gradual it is very enjoyable especially on highways this vehicle has really long legs you can stretch them out of course it comes with a 5 speed manual transmission The engine puts out about 84 bhp and that peaks at 6000 rpm. So that's a very very wide power band and right at the end of the power band you have the peak of the power that is 84 bhp which is decent according to industry standards and uh, this vehicle definitely does show a lot of performance potential and is very enjoyable to drive as well. The engine does not really leave you wanting for more or make you feel that it is out of breath. Uh the engine is very very responsive. Now, this vehicle comes with an eco mode and a city mode. The button on the dash which says eco once you press down on it, it gives a warning sign like that and it's in eco mode. The power delivery cuts down so you can rev freely up till about 4500 rpm post which the engine output is not as much as it would be in city mode basically to uh give a better fuel efficiency the fuel efficiency mark on this vehicle is close to about 21 to 22 kilometers per liter which is also decent by industry standards however if it depends on traffic situations we expect in bad traffic situations it could be anywhere from 15 to 19 kilometers to the liter which is also decent so we're driving around in eco mode and uh, power output power delivery is very very gradual it does not feel really peppy obviously the engine has been remapped to give a better fuel efficiency now when you're stuck in traffic and it's bumper to bumper traffic slow moving start stop traffic you can put it into eco mode and expect a better fuel efficiency out of the vehicle especially because you do not really require that much power during such situations and while cruising around in the city also you can put it in eco mode and uh, save fuel save the environment as well now if you switch off eco mode there is an instant difference you can feel in the responsiveness of the engine Now this engine puts out about 114 newton meters of torque and as we said before 84 bhp of power the diesel version of the Tiago puts out about 69 bhp so there is definitely a difference however it does not feel underpowered in the least uh the petrol motor definitely has longer legs and it does not run out of breath so easily while the diesel version of the Tiago does tend to run out of breath post uh, 4500 rpm there is nothing on the power band but in the petrol version you can rev it up all the way up to 6000 rpm where the meat of the power lies that 84 bhp lies at 6000 rpm so you're getting maximum power whereas in the diesel it is uh, at a lower range uh, but then again the diesel motor is a very very punchy motor and once the turbo sul kicks in it is uh, very fun to drive it's very lively this however is more gradual more well paced and uh, more linear in its power delivery it is definitely got longer legs than the diesel version of the car 
Now the suspension setup on the Tiago is a McPherson strut in the front and a twist beam in the rear. The suspension is softly sprung and uh, riding over bad roads is not really too much of an issue. The suspension soaks in the bumps, potholes really well and uh, you can sit comfortably in the cabin. Broken roads, you may get tossed around a little bit but it's not really that much of a bother. The braking setup on the Tiago is disc brakes in the front and drum brakes in the rear. The brakes are quite accurate and progressive, lend you a lot of confidence while you're driving at higher speeds. We did a lot of panic braking and we came from 100 kmph down to a halt, a complete standstill in a matter of a few seconds. The brakes are really really accurate and progressive on the Tata Tiago. Now the steering on the Tata Tiago is really well weighted and it's very very comfortable to hold. It's a soft touch leather uh, steering wheel. Uh, it's a three spoke steering and it's got this uh, glossy finish and a very very contemporary looking steering wheel as well. Maneuvering this vehicle around the city is pretty easy. It comes with a turning radius of 4.9 meters and it's actually one of those really comfortable, you know, uh, laid back kind of vehicles if you're just cruising in traffic like we are right now. It's very easy to drive, not really stressful and the steering is light. The clutch as well is really light so even if you are clutching in traffic it's not really that much of an issue. The gear throws on the Tata Tiago are short and precise and the vehicle does gobble up the gears, the first three gears at least, with ease but uh, the fourth and fifth gears give you a lot of room to play around with and have uh, long legs and you can actually stretch them out and see the full potential once you are on highways not in congested streets of the city like we are right now. Build quality is one area where Tata definitely can improve but they have come miles from where they were. The vehicles that they are making today are definitely at par with industry standards but build quality is an area which can be improved if you want to compete against the likes of Volkswagen, Skoda. Those kind of companies do have or offer better build quality on their products but then again it is not something which is detrimental. Tata has good features and all at a very very valuable price point so the entire deal that you're getting from this Tiago is really good. While this is the XZ variant of the Tiago it comes with a price tag of 4.75 lakhs. The starting price for the Tiago Petrol is 3.2 lakhs which is a steal considering the features, considering the power, considering the performance of this vehicle. 3.20 lakhs ex showroom Delhi is actually a very very valuable deal. So if you are in the market for a compact hatchback and you are planning to choose between the likes of uh, Maruti, Suzuki, Celerio or uh, Hyundai Grand i10, even uh, Renault Quid, this is one contender you should consider. The diesel variant as well as the petrol variant. Personally, I think the petrol variant is better than the diesel variant. It has longer legs. Yes, the fuel efficiency is not as good as the diesel variant. The city fuel efficiency can be anywhere between 15 to 19 kmpl. But then again, the petrol variant of the Tiago is a better performer has longer legs and is smoother and I felt more fun to drive than the diesel variant of the Tiago. So as we conclude our review of the new Tata Tiago, the petrol version of the Tata Tiago, we can interestingly note that this one is smoother than the diesel variant of the vehicle. However, the diesel variant does return a better fuel efficiency and has certain added advantages as we explained in the review. If you did like our video, please remember to like and share and spread the love by subscribing to our channel.
In a world filled with fashion and lifestyle, having a contemporary look is very important. And what stands behind me is the new UM Renegade Sport S. So let's find out a little bit more about what's on offer.